guys, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you are new, my name is David, I upload a houseplant content. As you guys can see by the title of this video, today we're going to be filming a houseplant tour, an updated edition. I try to do these as, as much as I can because only you guys enjoy them and I enjoy watching them as well. But y'all, it's a little bit hard. Kind of hard to like prep the house to like film it and like also I gotta, I gotta consider lighting because like throughout the day the lighting is really really good and other times it is bad. But yeah, so... I'm gonna stop talking because I know I talk a lot. But if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed, you should. I mean, I'm just saying. Because I do how-to videos on like how to care for specific plants. I love taking you guys plant shopping because I love going plant shopping. Top 10 videos or just like a lot of other like plant-related content. And I upload daily. So if you love all that good jazz, you should subscribe and join this plant journey with me. Alrighty, let's get on to it. Now the living room and dining room. Now you guys are going to be hearing the AC. You guys, I'm not going to turn it off because it's really, really hot. I will uh, do it for YouTube. Oh my God. <laughs> It's really, really hot. So we're gonna start it in this little section and this table. Um, we have a bunch of sun severias. This is a moonshine sun severia. I believe this is called a black dragon sun severia. Super, super cute. Look at that new leaf. Another basic one and another basic one. These two are like really, really easy to find. You'll literally find them anywhere. But yeah, I just love how full they are. Right over here, we got a Cerulea Potos. Oh, Philodendron. Now, it was in the greenhouse and it got really, really hot in there. So now it's back indoors. But as you guys can see, it got a little bit of damage. But she's pushing out new leaves and she looks really, really good. Well, she, she's getting better. Trust our Stramanti. Temporary creation. And then we have another Trust of Stramanti. I got these for $8.98, I believe, at Lowe's. Yes, you guys, I found it at Lowe's in the outdoor section. I was so shocked. I ended up posting it on the Facebook group that I'm on um, of my area. And the next day, everybody ended up going and getting them. Here's my adorable kitten. She is so annoying, but she's super, super cute. Hi, baby. Oh, you're so cute, mama. I'm debating on making her an Instagram. I don't know if I should or not. My baby. Ooh, you my baby. Ooh, you. Ooh, you. And then here is my old lady she loves her <laughs> she's facing at the wall she's so cute here is a monjulu potos look at this big leaf look at that variegation you guys by the way my cats are really really good at not like biting my plants this girl loves knocking them down but she rarely ever bites them uh, i feel like they already know i don't know i feel like they have instincts and they know what's poisonous and what's not poisonous here is a Syngonium, aka Arrowhead. And then we have a Yucca plant. I believe it's variegated, I'm not that sure. But it does have a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And then some dumb canes or different bakia. This plant hates me and I hate her so much, but <laughs> we're still together. It's a toxic relationship. We have a rubber tree. This is a new leaf that it has pushed out. Beautiful. Another dumb cane. And another one because like, I don't know why, like I said, I love the patterns. I love the leaves, <sighs> but we just don't like each other. But yet we're still together. Here is a Monstera Deliciosa cutting that I made. It's air root, air root, I believe. I think, I think that's what it's called. It's like coming out. It's weird, <laughs> but look at it. Look at it, it's just, it's so cute. I love it. And then we have some Cebu Blue cuttings. Well, propagations that I've made. And then a Paleo. Oh, and this is not a Paleo. Well, I think it is. But it's called a Money Tree Plant. I mean, Money Plant. Oh my God. <laughs> a Money Plant. And then we got a Cast Iron Milky Way. So cute. There is going to be a lot of hairs on my plants, you guys. It's because I have two cats and I cannot escape from the hairs. So I just gotta deal with it. Here is a, I, I know it's a philodendron, but I'm not sure it's specific name. But look at this new leaf. 
she is so happy another dumb cane and then oh over here we have a, a baby money plant she is reaching for the light this is a philodendron and then we have a chinese evergreen look at that variegation i got this girly at heb for 9.98 amazing green drop pepperonia oh what is happening over here yeah look at those big leaves and then we have a regular shield a location i believe isn't that so beautiful and then we have photos enjoy propagations that i've made oh my god it's gonna get so full and i'm so so happy a variegated aloe vera and it has two pups cute and then my money tree i got this girl for 12.98 at, at heb you guys it was on clearance insane but look at those new leaves oh my god a new leaf and then here's another one and here's another one that's gonna develop <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna start at the very, very top. Over here, we got my string of dolphins. For a second, I didn't know if this was getting like, you know, if it was growing at all. But then when I like, when I was gonna water her, I noticed she got really, really long. And I was like, wow, you're actually doing something. Look at that. Oh my God, so cute. And then we have a Hoya. Some new leaves popping up. Beautiful, beautiful. Hoya Compacta. String of Tears. A variegated lipstick plant. And that's pretty much it for this window. Now let's start in this little thing. So this is new. I just got it yesterday from a company that was really, really generous. Super, super nice and they send it and I really, really love it. My brothers think it's dumb. My mom think it's funny and my boyfriend doesn't like it. But I love it a lot because my collection is getting a little bit bigger. So I need more space to put for more plants and shelves. I don't have the money for shelves right now and it's such a hassle. So this, thing it's like amazing i will have it linked up below if you guys want to go check it out but you guys like oh my god it was so easy all you need is two nails and then boom you can plantify your wall i love it and it's a lot cheaper than shelves okay so we have a monjulu potos i was about to toss this girl out when i was in the apartments a while back but um i was like no no i'm not gonna toss it out like I, i'm gonna try to keep you alive I put her in the girl lights and she has bounced back like crazy. Look at this white leaf. Ugh. And then we got two syngoniums. I have a lot of syngoniums, you guys. So I have two white butterfly syngoniums. We got a pepperonia. A limelight drancina. This is called, it's also a syngonium, but it's the berry illusion kind. We got two in there. And then this is a lemon lime maranta propagations from a while back and as you guys can see she is bouncing back we have another drancina and then these plants are new green zz plants and then we have the black one and then a basic golden potos in the bottom on this table we have a pink syngonium bird's nest fern another bird's nest fern a dark mystery plant Propagations of Neon Potos and Sibo Blue. And look, she is starting to trail. And uh, these are some snake plant propagations that I've been doing. Look at those roots. And that little baby green spider plant. It looks like grass, but I promise you it's a green spider plant. Sansevieria. Purple waffle plant. A berry illusion syngonium cutting. Watermelon Pepperonia and then a, another Severely Potos More of this beautiful thing. I think it's called purple royalty or something like that 
some more Cebu Blue cuttings or propagations. Sansevieria, another Peperonia, Wrinkle Leaf Peperonia, another Drancina, another one, two variegated um, Peperonias, another Sansevieria, more Peperonias, and then this is a Calanthe, I believe. Look at those leaves. And then we have another Berry Illusion, Syngonia, a Drancina, and put those in joy. And then the mini Syngonium, which needs water. But super, super cute, so tiny. And I believe that's it for this, like half the table. Now on this side, we have more white butterfly Syngoniums, a green heart leaf philodendron, a Maria Syngonium, another Berry Illusion Syngonium, the pink Syngonium, or Arrowhead, a huge Diffenbachia that I got for $9.98 at HEB, a Chinese Evergreen, another Drancina, this really, really cute fluffy plant, and this girl. I believe that's it for this table. I did it went really, really fast because like, I don't want this video to be super, super long. So if you guys want to see like more details, like content or like just like video in general, you guys can definitely go check out my Instagram. I'm trying to post all of my plants in there. And yeah, I'm sharing the plant love already. Now we're going to start in this window. So at the very, very top, we have another heart leaf green philodendron. And then we have an Arizoniae, aka Swiss cheese plant, that I got for $14.98 at Lowe's. Crazy! It's starting to develop little holes. Super, super cute. Okay, we have another dumb cane, or Diffenbachia, toxic relationship. A Sansevieria, or a snake plant, or mother's in law tongue. This pretty plant that's developing more babies. The mini monstera. It's called a mini monstera. Look at that new leaf. Ooh, it's going to my front yard. Another white butterfly syngonium. Um, moonlight philodendron. It's a new fresh leaf. Oh my god. Hey, I think this is a Maria syngonium. Another mini Monstera. This one's a lot more bushier. I got this curly at Lowe's for $38, I believe. And this one I got it for $25 at a garden center. A local garden center. Well, nursery. Another Maria Syngonium. And another green ZZ ribbon plant. And we have Adrian Cena or a corn plant. My baby, that's taking forever. I might need to fertilize her because she's taking way, way too long to flush out new growth. But this is my big um, peace lily that I ended up killing. But as you guys can see, she ended up bouncing back because I placed her outside and she got really, really frost damage. But yeah. And then on this side, we have a philodendron. Look at those big leaves. Another Drancina. Put those in joy. A Nerf plant, aka Petonia. And then over here we have a golden puzzle that's really, really thirsty. Another Drancina. A prayer plant. An umbrella tree. Two more white butterfly. Syngoniums, my humongous old Brazil philodendron. Another Sansevieria. And then we have a Chinese evergreen or alocasia. 
and on this small little table, we have a little small squash for my vegetable garden. Oh my god. Okay, like I said, toxic relationship, but another different back here. A Maria Singonium. This beautiful plant that's in a beautiful pot. A variegated umbrella plant, snake plant. And then another pink Singonium. Love it! In this corner we have a snake plant, and then we have a Calathea, and then another snake plant, and my humongous Monstera Deliciosa. Oh my god, look at those leaves! I think she's pushing out, yeah, as you guys can see, she's putting out a new leaf. Yay! And that's pretty much it. Leah, she's so cute. <laughs> Ready and now the kitchen. You guys are gonna sit here and like the coffee. I just woke up <laughs> and I need my coffee, so ignore the coffee machine. But right over here we have my Radice Calentias. One of them is my boyfriend's, I believe it's this one. Um which is doing pretty pretty good. And then here's this one that I got as well. And here's another one. Super super fun, they're super super cute. And then over here is my boyfriend's um, propagation. I believe it's a heart, a green heart leaf philodendron. And my this is a snake plant that she left when she moved out, and I adopted her, and now she's like giving me new leaves, which is insane. Another propagation of my boyfriend's a Brazil philodendron, a heart leaf fern, which I hate so much, you guys. I don't know why, but as soon as I forget to water this girl, if it gets dry for one second, it turns all of its baby leaves to gets crispy or it loses all of its baby leaves if I forget how to, if I forget to water it. See, there's a, like a new leaf popping up right there. And then there's another one over here. But as soon as I forget to water it, it's gonna like get all crispy. So I might need to be watering this girly for like every single two days. Here is another green heart leaf philodendron of my boyfriend's propagation. And here's one of my super blue propagations that I made and as you guys can see I believe it's one two three four plants in one pot look at those new leaves super super cool here's an ivy which I forgot to water and it got a little bit crispy <laughs> but she's doing pretty good now and in these containers we have a bunch of snake plants that I am propagating right now because one of my snake plants that I propagated a while back has pushed out a new like baby like it's super super adorable i'll show you guys in a bit um and i was like oh my god let me make some more propagations so that's exactly what i did also ignore the the broken window my the owner does not want to fix it and like i don't want to pay for it because like i have a lot of things that i have to pay and it's, it's a whole mess but yeah at the very top we have a super relief photos I want to get a good view of the leaf because it has like such a stunning glitter effect or shimmer and if it's I think I got this one at Walmart because it's $10.98 or at Lowe's I'm not that sure and then right over here we have a rabbit foot fern and I honest you guys when I got it I thought I was going to die um, as soon as I get it because I have the worst luck with ferns But surprisingly this one I have it in the kitchen and it's super super hot and humid in here And as you guys can see it is like enjoying its life There's like a new like literally popping up in the Air roots, I don't know what you call it. Look there's more. It's so cool But yeah, it's been enjoying life in the kitchen Just look how like lush and full it is and I haven't seen any brown tips other than if I forget to water it, it starts getting a little bit brown tips at the very, very top. But even then, like, it's just doing so good. And I'm so proud of it. It was $13.98 or $13.88 at Walmart. A really, really good price for a 8-inch. Yeah, rabbit's food fern. Right over here, we have my humongous corn plant that I got for $15 at Walmart. Not with the pot, it was like in a um, plastic one gallon pot. And then I repotted her and as you guys can see, she is looking so, so good. I just love it and I, oh my God, it's just so beautiful. At the very bottom, we have my Mostera Deliciosa. She does look a little bit wilted, but it's because she's getting a lot of light right now. And then like within a few hours, the sun will go away because it will be like on top of us. 
and then it will perk back up so yeah and right over here we have like my succulent slash cacti collection some of them are not looking so good because i keep forgetting to water them and it, like i water them and the apartments it was like once a month but now that i live like in a house with really good like sunlight I'm starting to realize I need to switch it from one, like once a month to like once a week because like they're getting really really dry. Here's my um I think it's called an elephant bush. I am not that sure. It was like dead because it was neglected like really really bad. And I got it for a dollar at Lowe's and then I started giving it some water. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of new growth popping up. This cute succulent string of hooks. Um, I think it's called the Ruby Cascade or Ruby Glow Necklace some cactuses a succulent and crown of thorns which is in bloom all right right at this table we got more my calentheos or plants that are very very like they need a lot of humidity the kitchen is really really great for humidity so this is my pink strip calentheo and it have a really really like cute fun story about this one I had it in the winter outside because we got, like I live in Texas and usually in Christmas time or like the winter season it's still really hot outside and I had so I had this girly outside because it was humid outside yes even in winter and then the next day we got an unexpected cold front and she just got so crispy and just died off completely and got really really bad and she they had like a few good leaves but I was like no 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 so what I ended up doing I cut up the entire plant all the way to the bottom and it just flushed out new growth it used to be three plants so as i think it's you guys can see right there its own little gravestone but <laughs> yeah it's doing so good here's a new leaf popping up and then on this plant i believe it already pushed out a new i think it's this one but yeah pink stripe calentia calentia but over here we got a syngonium arrowhead that i am propagating and then a heart leaf philodendron that needs some water really really fast. I'm place this girly right over here. A calentia medallion. I don't know why, but I keep getting this girly to get crispy. I uh, I feel like it's because I was watering with tap water. So I'm starting to water this girly with fish tank water. So hopefully that, that helps out. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I do know that it has like new growth popping up. Where is it? I just saw it. And am I just seeing things? Okay, I'm just going crazy. <laughs> Palm. I want to repot it. And then this used to be my plants, but I ended up giving it to my mom because she liked it a lot. So I gave her one a Sansevieria and a blue cactus, I believe. And yeah, she ended up repotting it in this pot. And I, didn't, I thought I was gonna die to be honest cause like I feel like it doesn't get good drainage but she like rarely waters this plant. So I'm, it's doing really, really good surprisingly. And then over here we got some Pothos and Joy propagations that I made a while back. And as you guys can see, it's like popping up. I'm really, really bad at the name but it's called Oberfifolia Calithia. <laughs> but look at the new leaf popping up. I've been having some issues with this girly, and, but I don't want to give up on it because one, it was expensive, and two, it's really, really hard to find, and then three, it's doing pretty good now, so hopefully she can bounce back. She was, you know, I mean, oof, yeah, I need to cut that part off, but yeah. We got a pepperoni right over here. This is one of my weirdest pepperonis. I believe it's called a jelly bean pepperoni. Yeah, jelly. No. Oh. Really interesting pepperonia. But over here we got this beautiful plant. I believe it's an evergreen or a Chinese evergreen. And we got a featherly calentia, which I was also having a lot of issues with, but I feel like I fi figured it out. Cause I have it in the kitchen where it's really, really hot and humid. Like I'm literally sweating right now, but it was getting really, really crispy. And I was like, girl, why are you getting crispy? I ended up switching to tank water. And also I removed it from like a little bit of direct light. I noticed that even the slightest direct light gets a little bit crispy but i have it placed in this back corner which she gets like medium indirect light and she's been doing pretty pretty good and here's another one that my mother gifted to me which oh my gosh she's so adorable and so sweet it's another featherly calentia you guys look at those leaves
Sorry about the cat hairs. I have like two cats and it's impossible to like escape from the cat hairs. And I thought this was called the Peacock Calentia, but I was wrong. But I know it's a Calentia. Super cute. Ugh. By the way, I bought these, this one and this one. And one of my writers made Calentias, but ended up like dying from my Plantarina unboxing. And they were like in 2.5 inch like pots, I believe, or two inch pots. And as you guys can see, she has grown so, so good. This is my uh, alocasia, I believe, or poly elephant ear. She ended up putting a whole new plant. Oh my God, this is so cute. I don't know, I got it from Walmart for like $2 and I was like, let me just get it. I feel like it's a tree or a bush. I've never really seen this plant other than Plantarina from her website, but yeah, it's a really, really fun, interesting plant. Hey, Drancina that I am propagating and I pulled it out. I was propagating in water and then I looked at it. You guys, it had roots. That's like so crazy. And I ended up placing her in soil. And as you guys can see, she is putting out a new leaf. I just love propagating plants. Like, I cannot get over it. Cause like you're making a whole new free plant. Oh, my cats are just running around. But, oh my God, I love propagating. And then right over here we have a, I think it's called Thanksgiving cacti. Oh no, it's, it's a Christmas cacti. Well, Christmas cactus. And yeah. I might place them in a terracotta pot because I feel like she looks super, super cute in it. And hopefully she flowers in Christmas. Look at those roots, by the way. Right over here, we have a prior plant propagation that we are, I believe it's my boyfriend's, so I'm not that sure. But there's an leaf popping up and it's super cute and fun. And this is a really, really sad plant. I'm gonna need to like, I don't know, I don't know. You guys, this is real life. This is not Instagram. Like, I'm gonna be showing you guys the plants that are really, really bad and the plants that are doing really, really good. So, yeah, this is sadly one of the plants that are not doing so good. And here's another one as well, my waffle plant. Purple waffle plant. And I forgot to water it. And y'all, it just got so crispy and lost so many leaves. But now I know to never let this girly dry out because she's gonna put a fit. But here's a new leaf popping up. Like, that's super, super cute. Look at those roots. Love that for her. And yeah, that is it for this table. And then over here, we have a golden leaf potos. I believe I got it for $12.98 at Lowe's. It's a really, really good price because it's so lush and full and she needs water. Now the bedroom. Now my bed is a little bit messy. I got, I took a power nap. I swear I fixed it before I got up and got my, I had my coffee. It's just like, you know, I needed a power nap and I took like, I went memes. But let's talk about the plants in my bedroom. So at the very, very top, we have a beautiful Chinese evergreen alocasia. I don't know. I think it's on the, I'm gonna put this girl name to it because I keep forgetting. And then we have a Cebu Blue Philodendron, my OG, cause she's been with me since the very, very beginning. She was one of my 10 first plants that I ever had. And then we have an asparagus fern. Love it, I really, really do love it. And then we have a Marble Queen Photos. A Fleetonia, aka Nur plant in this beautiful pot. A strawberry begonia. Look at those leaves. And then neon potos. And some begonias. Look at this one. And then we have another Cebu Blue Philodendron that I ended up propagating. You guys, I propagated a lot because my girly was like three feet long and I cut it all the way down. I gave her a haircut and I gave her some fresh soil so she can like, you know, take a fresh breath and focus all of her energy on like getting even more bushy. But yeah, this is another new plant that I made and I love it. At the very bottom, we have a dumb cane with different bacchia. I just love the patterns, you guys. And it has two new leaves popping up. And then another Tristar Stramanti. Look at those leaves. Oh my god, look at that pink. Oh my god. A Limelight Maranta. Lemon Lime Maranta.
We have a silver leaf pothos, bird's nest fern, another Chinese evergreen, and another white butterfly syngonium. Swiss cheese plants. This is one of my more mature ones because look at those holes. <laughs> it's vining, another lemon lime maranto, and another neon photos. And this very corner, we have my very, very long string of hearts that I ended up propagating. Oh my god, look, it's in bloom. That is a beautiful picture. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll be probably good on my string of hearts. I have one of the eyes popping up in the corner so you guys can go and check it out after this video. And then over here, we got some more begonias. And lastly, we have one of my Hoyas. Look at those new leaves. Oh my god. My Pokedot begonia. Has been through so much, but she's finally getting a break and getting so long, and she's pushing out so much new growth. My beautiful orchid, my philodendron micans, and then my jungle boogie philodendron. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please let me know by giving a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you would like to see more daily plant content. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!